Hello, my name is Barbara Lewis with Singing After 40. Welcome. I hope you're feeling good today. Today's video and next week's as well are about the subject of hearing. As we get older, we, many of us, uh, perhaps most of us, experience at least some hearing loss. For some of us, it's a lot of hearing loss. But today's video is about tuning up the hearing that we do have. It's a simple but powerful exercise. Next week, I'm going to talk about what you can do if you've experienced quite a lot of hearing loss. I'm going to interview a friend of mine who continues to sing even though she's considered legally deaf. So let's get on with today's lesson, which is what you can do to continue to tune up your hearing. I'll be right back in about six seconds. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like them, and leave a comment. Thank you. Welcome back. So hearing is a very mysterious thing. I remember reading some years ago some of the books written by Alfred Tomatis, who was a French researcher, and he talked about how hearing, aside from it being a physical thing, also had a strong emotional and psychological component. I'm not a researcher, and I don't pretend to know everything that uh, Tomatis talked about, but I do find that, that there is quite a lot of psychology and a lot of mystery to how we hear. And I think that it's helpful if we tune up our hearing as frequently as possible. I try to do it almost every day in different ways. And there's one exercise that I use a lot. It's really simple, powerful, not always easy to sing. But I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to show it to you in different ways. But here I am at this keyboard that I know is in tune, or as in tune as I can find right now. I'm also going to do it on an app just to show you how you can use your phone. If you don't have a piano and you don't have a keyboard or you don't have anything that's in tune, you can use an app. Uh, and I like using the app as well, and I'll show you that after. But right now, here is the exercise. So it goes like this. I'm doing it in C. Because I think most voices can sing this in this part of the range, and it's very easy to play. You just play the white notes. It goes like this. So you're just going through the intervals. Here's the fifth. Here's the sixth, the seventh, and the octave, the eighth. So I sing it. Now, if you want to sing with me, you're welcome to. So it starts like this. I play it, then I sing it. I'm going to use do because we have that consonant there. It's very clear. The pitch is clear. Do, do, do. So that's the going up portion of this exercise. I would do that once or twice or three times. And each time, I would try to listen more carefully, really consciously listen. You're not doing this to sing well. You're doing this to hear well. Now I would come down like this, listening. Let's try it together. I'll play and then we'll sing. Do, do, do. takes a 
lot of thinking. Now I'm going to do this using an app and I will have the camera behind me so you can see how I'm using this little app on my phone. In case there are those of you who don't have a keyboard, don't have an in-tune piano, but do have a phone. So there's an app for the iPhone and there's another one for the Android. I'm going to use my iPhone, but I'll show you pictures either here or here of what those apps look like and what their names are. I'll be right back. So here's the app for the iPhone. It's called Piano or The Piano once it's on your iPhone. I've already opened it so it comes right into the keyboard, but it might not and you have to open the keyboard. It's very simple and it also has a record button which I'll show you. But first I'm going to play this simple exercise. Not incredibly well actually because I haven't worked with this very much. But if you do it a few times you're going to find that uh, your fingers work better. It gets you through the, through the basic exercise which is all you need and in tune. And there we go. It also has a record function, so you press this little red button up here and you'll see three, two, one, and then you record. You record whatever you want. And once you finish that, you press record to end, you save, and then you can replay whatever you've recorded. I have not used the Android app but here it is. You can see that it's called Perfect Piano and I assume that it works similarly. I hope it does and you can do your thing. There you go. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope that if you like this exercise that you'll try to do it once or twice a week. Really an important way to keep tuning up how we hear and how we listen. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that next week and talk with my friend who uh, uses hearing aids and still sings very well. So I'll see you next week. Barbara Lewis was singing after 40. Bye-bye and thank you.